Hello everybody, welcome back to Judgment. <clears throat> hope everyone's in, hope enjoying the series so far. And let's get back into it. I have really enjoyed this game so much. Where I don't want it to end. And I really don't. <laughs> you'd have given up by now. After what you did to me and the Kaheen, not once, but twice? I'm never backing down. Sorry, but you reap what you sow. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Quit showing off with your fancy words and shit. Seriously? Sakakiba! Kazai! I'm hungry! This man is Kaito Sakakiba! One of the Kahin four. Him? You let him in? Hey, Kasai. You're buying me food if I take this guy down, yeah? Hey, you better believe it. Steak, ramen, pizza, whatever you want, big guy. I hope you're not lying. That mean I get dessert too? Sure, sure. Cake, pudding, anything. Does, um, does curry count as dessert? Literally anything you want. As much of it as you want. Just beat his ass. Come on, you can't just let him talk you into... Food. 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 Oh, great. <laughs> Come on, I had a big amount of health. Damn it. 
Okay, let's go back to this one. There we go. Jeez, this guy's built like a ton of bricks. <laughs> you see that? There's no getting through his flabby exterior. Now go, Sakakiba. Smash this bitch. Mm -hmm. What are you spacing out for? Get him! I'm... Hungry. What? It's dinner time. But <sighs> looks like your buddy abandoned you. Uh, 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 uh. Shit! Better luck next time, asshole. Wait, that would be my line. Come on, man. I just need some health, man. <clears throat> Alright, uh... So yeah, apparently he needs a nap. <clears throat> Dang it, I was gonna...
Kuroiwa. I've been waiting for you. Why don't we step inside for a little chat? Another voluntary interrogation? Thought I told you to bring a warrant next time. The hell was that? <sighs> Let's be civilized here, Yagami-san. Fine. Office is pretty dirty, though. So, to what do I owe the honor? There's a leak in the prosecutor's office. Pretty sure it's a woman. Got her hands on some pretty important case files. The ones about the vice director of the ADDC getting beaten to death in the street. You have any ideas? Sorry, not a clue. What kind of lowlife would sell police secrets? Shh. Scum. Right, Ayabe? Totally. The worst. <laughs> Nobody takes us seriously around here. That all you came to ask? I'm sure you guys are just as busy as I am. So, if you're finished, I'm gonna have to ask you to... Right. Izumita wants to talk to you tomorrow. About Shintani's murder. You'll be there. In cuffs if need be. Why am I being treated like a suspect? <laughs> Sorry, that's classified. Just drop by the public prosecutor's office. If you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. You don't want to deal with getting arrested. Trust me. Better to handle this before it gets to that point. Think of it like that. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Besides, you and Izumina go way back. But how am I going to defend myself if I don't know why he suspects me? Let me guess. I'll find out when I get there. More or less. Who knows what angle Izumita will take. Have it your way. I'll come in and clear the air and we'll be done with this. I'll be in touch tomorrow. <sighs> Asshole's been dragging me everywhere. I can't do a damn thing on my own. I can tell. Looks rough. Yagami-san? Hey, any luck? Yes. I made friends with the girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? Okay, looks like they're off the tinder, so might as well meet them there.
I'm gonna hit it in the side. <clears throat> Get some help. All right, there we go. <clears throat> now let's bounce. to get mugged. <clears throat> Sorry, Sorry-san. Took you long enough. This is Mika-san. Hey, I'm Yagami. Mind if I join you? Be my guest. This is the man you served six months ago? You're certain? Yeah, that's him. We already discussed Hashki and Shono. Mikasan was at their table, without a doubt. That's Shono-san, right? Yeah. What were they like? I guess nothing stood out about them more than any other pair of businessman types. Hashki-san complained about his boss, while Shono-san just nodded and smiled. What was Hashki saying? He was going on and on about this Kido-san guy. Have you heard about that new dementia drug, 89? Uh, yeah. I'm kind of familiar. Not surprised. They used to talk about it on TV a bunch. Anyway, apparently Kido-san's kind of a big shot guy on the 89 research team. And Hashiki and Shono were talking shit about him? Yeah. Sounds like Kido-san was getting wined and dined by all sorts of people who wanted to profit off 89. From what I heard, not all those deals were above board. 
Secret deals, huh? Is Kido-san working with the Yakuza? Hashiki-san didn't give specifics, but he did say 89 could buy a lot of influence. And about the cut he'd be getting later. He seemed like a really shady guy, actually. Interesting. Did you ever hear Hashiki mention a Kachihira? Kachihira? It's a big construction company based out of Kansai. Basically, Hashiki was working for this Kajihira, trying to shut down the ADDC. Wait, I thought Hashiki-san was super important, like vice director or something. He was. Kajihira's money was too much for him to refuse, though. Mm. Either way, I, I don't remember hearing them talk about a Kajihira. How was Shono acting that night at the club? Well, <laughs> he spent most of the night staring at my chest. Hashiki-san kept going on about Kido-san all the same, though. Maintain eye contact, Yagami-san. Shono-san seemed more interested in being a creep than indulging him, though. You don't think he was listening to Hashiki-san, then? Nope. Didn't seem like it. <laughs> Disgruntled boss on one side, closet perv on the other. Then, out of the blue, Hashiki-san said this. There's something fishy going on with 89, I just know it. Did he have any idea what it was? Um, what did he say again? Uh, something about fabrication or falsification? Data fabrication? Falsifying the effects of the drug? Yeah, that was it. He kept going on about how 89 was too good to be true. And how weird it is that it just came out of nowhere. So he brought Shono to the club to try and figure out if 89 was real. Right. What did Shono say? Just, there's nothing fishy about it. But then Hashiki-san yelled back, I don't believe that for a second! It was kind of awkward seeing how desperate he was. Makes sense he'd be desperate, though. Why? He promised this guy Kajihira he'd shut down the ADDC. Hmm... I gotta say, you remember a lot for a conversation that happened six months ago. Can you blame me? The poor man got beaten to death right afterward. I replay this a lot. Right. Sorry. And at that point, I already knew about 89. See, my grandma has pretty bad Alzheimer's. So, I was hoping they'd release it to the public soon. I'm sure that made the conversation stick out to you. Yeah. When I heard Kido-san was just another slime ball, I don't know, kind of broke my heart. <sighs> Tragic. Thanks for this, Mika-chan. You must be exhausted. That's all of it? Yeah, you helped us more than you know. Be safe on your way back. Thank you. Uh, what time's your shift start tomorrow, Saori-san? Sorry, I'm not coming back tomorrow. Huh? It was a one-night thing. I got to see a side of myself I didn't know I had, though. Man, this stinks. You're so pretty, Saori-san, and I was pumped to learn more from you. I don't think I have much left to teach. I might be able to help you, though, as a friend. You're a lawyer? Let me know if you ever get into trouble. Wow. I've never been friends with a lawyer before. This is, like, super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye now! That was amazing, sorry son You really pulled through for us. It's fine. Come on. I'll walk you back to the office. I want to review what we learned with Hoshino-kun and the others. Sure. <clears throat> yeah, except except tomorrow I'm gonna be freaking arrested. <clears throat> oh, we're going up there. Okay. Just 
We'll just catch a cab. No, I don't want to fight. Not a wise choice. Really? Back to the clubhouse. Welcome back. You're so beautiful, sorry son. Like a puppy. You should dress like that all the time, Saurikun. Yeah, good luck finding clients. I'm changing. There's a good chance Hashki's murder was premeditated, just like Chairman Kajihira suspected. That's the conclusion you and Saurikun reached? Yeah. Hashki thought something was up with 89, doubted the authenticity of the research, seemed convinced they had fabricated data. He was desperately searching for proof before he died. But was there anything actually wrong with it? I tried analyzing the paper myself to find out, but it's like it was written in a different language. I'm searching for someone more knowledgeable as we speak, but nobody seems to suspect any foul play, not even online. Yet Hashki was still searching for issues, and if he had managed to find one... The ADDC would be long gone by now. And they murdered Hashki to keep the secret safe? Don't be ridiculous. Who would kill a man just to protect a research paper? It might not be as unlikely as you think. The ADDC has been bringing in billions of government yen ever since they published that paper. With that much cash involved, bumping someone off wouldn't be out of the question. The question is, who killed Hashki? A professional assassin, if I had to guess. The man in the black raincoat. If he was an assassin, that would mean someone hired him. Yeah. Someone who wanted to protect 89 and the ADDC. But who? Can't begin to imagine. But apparently Kido was out hyping up 89, raking in tons of dirty money in the process. Guy might even be involved with the Yakuza. You're really suspicious of him, Yagami-san. Well, if it looks like a rat... Maybe Shintani got too close to the truth, and Kido offed him for it. The thought has crossed my mind. Don't think we can say that for sure without looking more into Kido, though. But judging from our last visit, that won't be as easy as you make it sound. He's practically a celebrity at this point. Well, maybe if we can't get him to talk. Prosecutor's office can. Huh? What do you mean? I've got a meeting with Izumita tomorrow. They're calling me in. Isn't that the prosecutor who was trying to get you arrested? He can try all he wants. That's what this meeting's about. No chance in hell he agrees to help us then. All depends on how this little chat goes. If I can convince him I'm innocent, I'll clear my name and put the squeeze on Kido all in one fell swoop. 
What are you planning, Yagami-san? 